Welcome back everybody. I hope your day is finding you well today. I'm out here in my greenhouse and I was just doing my morning inspection and I wanted to check on a couple of the plants that I've got growing. I'm actually on a small little step stool here so I'm trying to turn around just kind of give you a different viewpoint of the interior of this greenhouse. How loaded it is in here right now with all the various plants. Just getting ready for my early spring plant sale. So most of these plants in here will go to other gardeners in the Tucson area and will be planted in their gardens. This is pretty much a full year's worth of work that I've created in here. And so you see how often I propagate. I try to propagate almost every day. Um, if not, you know, at least three or four times a week. And, and sometimes the propagations like the layering, the serpent layering, or the air layering, or just the various means, sometimes they take a while. So it's not that I'm making new plants every day, but I am getting the process started. And so I just wanted to do a quick update video on a couple things that I have propagated and just wanted to show you some progress. I'm actually up here. The reason I'm on my step stool is I created this shelf just to give myself some more planting room. And as you can see, I have 42 little plants right up here on this shelf. It's pretty much right at the top of my greenhouse, right above the entry doors, the entry doors down there. And I have all kinds of, these are some Egyptian walking onion. I have some, I have a jackfruit there. I have a citrus of some kind in the back there, pineapple. I've got some lucana, which I'm pretty excited to grow. Uh, here are some of the figs that I had pulled out of the garden. As you can see, let me see, where's this fig at here? This guy, you can see the green node starting to form. And so I love to pull figs out of the clump, all the ones that grow on the interior. And these will all make new figs. Here's another one here. Let me see, you can see, hopefully you can see that green node. Uh, but the main plant I really wanted to do an update on is this angel cot. I don't know if you saw the video where I propagated this angel cot from the pit and I put the pit in my refrigerator for about three months and it sprouted and so it was just a little wee bit little thing when I put it in this pot. It's probably been maybe three weeks or a month ago but now it's reaching oh five inches and it is doing phenomenal in this humidity. And so I just wanted to update you on that angel cot. Just let you know that it is growing great. It looks great and it is very healthy in here. So there's the angel cot. I have a little low cot there that as you can see, let me see if I can get you a good view here, is being infested by some aphids. So I'm gonna wanna take that out and spray some water on that guy. Just get those aphids off of him so that he doesn't suck out all the nutrients and he can grow up nice and health, healthy and happy in here. Let me just get down here and show you a couple other plants. Here are the little seedlings in the sand. You can see the artichokes are growing up quite nicely. Ever since I took those fava beans out, the perennial greens are getting a lot larger. They are now growing upright vigorously. Here's one. And these look like they're the merit collards, which are the ones that I'm most, most eager to get. So happy with the growth on those. Here are the fava beans that I took out and they are in the four squares here. And so they're growing nice and healthy and happy. I've got some more fava bean that I pulled there, there, and over there. So I just put those on the edge of that shelf, which are growing nice and happy and healthy. And here are the perennial greens that I had taken from cutting. That was a probably a month or so back. And they are probably at the point where they're rooted in the sand. And so I'm sure I could probably pull these guys from the sand here. I do feel quite a bit of resistance from that cutting. There were a couple cuttings on this side that turned brown and didn't make it. But as you can see here, the majority of this, it all took. And so I would probably say it's probably about a 90% success 
with all these various cuttings that I took from the perennial greens. And so those are likely ready. And as you can see, here are all the comfrey that I took uh, probably a month or a month and a half ago. And they are all growing up nicely. Even some of the ones that were just the rooted sections that didn't have the crowns are starting to come up as well. And so I'm gonna have quite a few comfrey just taking half of that plant. It'll probably make me, you know, a good dozen or so more plants. I forget exactly how many it was, but I would say probably a good dozen. And you can see I've got more figs here that have the green tips. And so everything just loves to be in this humidity. Everything does excellent. I have some Pakistan mulberry. I like to keep those in here just because they keep their leaves, especially these younger ones. It helps them just get a head start into the growing season. And so this guy's very nice and healthy and happy. I've got another Pakistan mulberry there that I've got some cat's claw, the vining plant that's uh, kind of growing on it. So I'll have to prune that here uh, probably in the spring, but uh, he's nice and healthy and happy. Fig that hasn't lost any leaves. And so everything in here is just doing really good. I've still got the pineapple divisions that are just taking their time. It almost looked like there was something coming out of the center of that one, but they will probably take a little bit longer to start coming out. And I've still got the red goji that are being layered in the little butter containers. All my bamboo I have proliferated. And I did actually get the bamboo that was back there in that corner. It was an Alphonse car. And so I went ahead and I propagated the Alphonse car out. And I think I got nine Alphonse car bamboo out of the one. It was in a sandbag back there. And it was just one uh, bamboo plant back there. It was a uh, Alphonse car, but it had uh, nine or 10 little uh, combs and, and I separated all those out individually. So I've probably got, oh, 20 or 25 bamboo plants in here now. And I do want to propagate those out into the garden. I promised a, a friend of mine that, that I would give her one. You know who you are, you're probably watching. Uh, but besides that, I'm going to plant all the other ones out into the yard. And so this is just a quick garden nursery greenhouse update. I want to go ahead and pull that loquat down and just do some uh, some pest cleanup with the aphids. I do tend to watch out for that here in the greenhouse. There's nice avocados reaching oh, seven feet in here. Very happy and healthy. And so but with the loquat, you really have to watch out for those aphids. They like to attack the, the new leaves and try to suck some of the, the extra nutrients and growth out of the plants. So if you really want to keep your plants healthy and strong and growing as quickly as possible, you really want to be on the lookout for the aphids. There's no need to do anything drastic like, you know, even neem oil. You really don't need with, with aphids. Uh, if you just spray them off with water, it kills them. There's a little, look at that little tiny fig tree there. And it's just a little tiny plant. I probably got right into the center of a plant and, and probably had just a little hairline root, but that little stem sticking up couldn't be much more than two inches and look at it growing already. So they all do take, it just takes a little bit of time. There was another one that I'd taken a while back and that's grown up. Look at that stem coming off. That's probably five inches at this point. And so, just takes a little bit of time. So have a great day today. Thanks for coming out and checking out the updates on the various plants that I've propagated here. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I hope you have a great day today and God bless you. Take care.